Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, you're gonna be watching me start my Subnautica playthrough. Now, disclaimer, I have played this before, um, but this time we're doing hardcore. This playthrough is gonna be very interesting, very hilarious, and maybe very long. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me, but we're going to try our best. Um, in this first video, you'll notice uh, a few streaming mishaps because I do stream this over on Twitch. Um, in the beginning, I did not switch my scene over to the appropriate one, so you're gonna see a lot of me in the beginning. Um, and I'm sorry for that. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoy. Please give this a like, subscribe, share, um, or don't, you know, I don't really know what you do. Um, but regardless, I hope you enjoy and let's get on to the video. Press any button. Attention. Imminent. Also, let me know if this is too loud. So nice to be back on four five four six B. It's too loud. Are you fucking with me? Being a, like actual. Hi, walkabout. How are you? You have suffered minor head you don't trauma. Say. This is considered an optimal outcome. If you say this so. PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, so I'm I'm going to try to cater to those that have played the game. Um, and to those who have not. So, um, I will be going through the logs. I will be going through the databank, uh, if only briefly, just to let you guys get accustomed to what the game is like. Now, I have to get reused to the controls, that's for sure. I will take that. Um, and if I recall, yes, there are things in here that I will need. I don't need to drink anything, but I will eat this. Perfect. Um, I can't make anything yet because I have to go outside. Um, and that, the repair tool, yes, it's coming back to me now. Yes, I need the repair tool. I forget what all that entails. Didn't invite you to my Discord? Well, I have two Twitch... I have two di discords. One is personal for me and my friends, and then um, one is for Twitch. So anybody can join the Twitch one. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Well, I'm a human life sign. You don't detect me. All right. So first thing, first things first, I need to collect things. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your That's probability crap. of survival has just increased to unlikely. Yes, I know who you are. Plausible. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I need a scanner tool. I don't have that right now. Spade, thanks for the follow. Oh, oh my god, that's right. I don't get O2 reminders. This is starting out bad. You guys are gonna have to tell me if I'm low on oxygen and I'm not paying attention. I need that sea glide fragment. Okay, I need to focus on getting titanium. Um, I don't need batteries yet. I won't collect the the mushrooms. 
but I will take some bladder fish and some normal fish if I can catch them. Oh, thanks for the hundred biddies. I, I really have to pay attention to that O2 system. <laughs> Just need titanium, please. Oh, I'm gonna. <sighs> Hello. Okay. That's dangerous. Don't do what I did. Alien life forms <laughs> may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources. Now is remember, a we are in hardcore. Strategy. If I die, that's it. Like the whole thing is. We have to do it again. Is this game scary? Well, I guess that depends on who you ask. If you have the Lassophobia, I would advise not playing the game. However, uh, some people do, even though they, they, they don't like the ocean. But there are giant creatures that would love to eat you. So I guess it just depends on how you look at the ocean. So the metal salvage we picked up on the ocean floor earlier that can convert into titanium, which is very important. Breathe, thanks. Oh, we don't want to cook that. I did that the first time I played. I cooked the, the bladder fish, and the bladder fish gives you water. You don't want to do that. Unless it's all you got, I guess. Okay, so let's get an O2 tank. That's already Aquas. equipped. Um, we'll go ahead and use the med kit because this fabricator is really neat. Um, after that circle bar becomes full, it'll give you another med kit, which is really handy. So, now I don't remember. Oh, let's listen to these actually. Oh, we already did these. Okay, that's the ones that already told us. Never mind. Blueprints. Survive. We want bl the actual blueprints. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Um, let's see. We want to pin the repair tool, the scanner, and I think that's good for now. Spades, I'm new. You are new. Welcome. I'm glad to have you. What else? What else is good in the beginning? Let's see. Um, I think Ben's is just rubber. We'll get that in a moment. These are nice. The the point redemption, yeah, I'm not, I don't withhold them. I like to throw in some creative ones if I can. Um, I wanna make this, but we'll hold off on that until we get into deeper waters. Um, This is useful to have, so we'll pin that as well. And we'll do this after we get those done. But I think this is good for now. Can't get past the part where you can no longer see the ocean floor from the surface. My thalassophobia paralyzed me. I had fun up to that point though. Oh my gosh, yeah. So um, I started playing the second, whoops. I'm gonna do that a lot just so you guys know. Um, pressing escape to exit out of the PDA instead of tab, which is what the button actually is. Um, I started playing the second game and I honestly there's a part in below zero that I haven't explored yet at all because it is so absolutely deep it breaks me out I don't even have the last phobia I love the ocean give me a scuba tank and um, put me on a treadmill for a few days because there's no way my body could handle being under the water but okay so I need I will need a battery for the scanner um, Okay, I know exactly where to go to get what we need. So let's go. Ocean makes me sick. I'm gonna watch anyway. Okay, perfect, hey. And the beauty about watching someone else play is you can look away anytime you want, right? I will grab, I don't know how many it is for a battery. I think it's three. Um, in the shallows, which is the area that we are right now, it's called the shallows. It's a safe area. There's really nothing that can hurt you here aside from like maybe a gasopod, which I'll show you in just a moment. My friends tell me I laugh just like a gasopod, which is rude. 
But anyway. Ah, yes. The kelp. See these glowing things right here? It's exactly what I need. I will take a few of these. And we will escape to the surface because I'm running out of O2. That thing over there that you see where my cursor is, that's a gastropod. Let's see, let's see if he'll laugh at me. This right here is about my limit. Really? Oh my gosh. Wait till we get to like mid game. <laughs> Did you hear him laughing? Look, I'll scare him. And he poops on you. And those things are toxic if they if they come into contact with you, but in the shallows that's probably <laughs> that's probably the worst it gets. Yes, ha 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 ha. Uh, according to my friends, I laugh just like that, but... I will need some water soon. And some rubber fins would be really nice. So, we'll, we'll make what is pinned, and then I'll, I'll make some fins, and then we'll make the habitat builder. I don't know if we will put a base in the shallows, because that's what I did last time. I kind of want to challenge myself and put one somewhere else. If I can. Alright, let's see. We need rubber. Or silicone, I guess. Silicone, rubber, same difference. Okay, now, can I make a battery? I can. That one copper really, really set me straight. Oh my God. We can make everything we need. Well, I think so. Um, repair tool. Beautiful. Yeah, don't touch the tip of that, dumbass. Scanner. Scanner is very important. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Perfect, and we had enough rubber to make The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. I'm just putting all of my tools in the, the slots that I want them in. Um, I think that's good for now. You, uh, I'll put the knife in three, and we'll put the habitat builder in four when I get it, and the sea glide in five whenever we get that too. Okay. And we unlocked another blueprint. Where are you at? Oh, the power cell. Yeah, that'll be important later, but not right now. Alright, we can unpin these. I want to make that and that at some point, and then... I really think we're good to go other than getting blueprints, which is what we have to do now. Oh, see, I told you I'm going to do that a lot. Okay. Oh, I really should go back and repair the, the thing before I go anywhere. Life pod secondary Perfect. systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. The environment scan. Uh, category 3 ocean planet. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. I wonder if I can turn on subtitles. I'll try to do that in a moment. Category 3 ocean planet, oxygen and nitrogen in the atmosphere, extensive biodiversity, may support leviathan class predators. 
water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria planet is beyond federation space rescue unlikely it is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Well, Rescue I guess this operation is will be dispatched to your location in nine, nine, nine. So nine, never. Nine, nine. Right. Hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. We have no more messages. Um. I'll go ahead and take this. All right. Now we're good to collect. Blueprints are important. It that is what enables you to make uh, better equipment, and you can also scan all of the life forms. I can't scan the mushroom apparently, but this way we can learn about everything on the planet. Now, where is that seed line? I think it's right here. Alright, we need to find one more of that. There are so many creepy sounds in the water too, I, I will say. I mean, I'll take that. I don't really need it, but I'll take it. Uh, I really need to, I should get a bladder fish and make the air bladder. That thing has saved my life numerous times in previous playthroughs. I swam really far away. I'm pretty sure I landed in the same area that I did in the first playthrough I did. I think, anyway. Fishy, fishy, fishy. You there. Thank you. I don't know what else I need for that. Thankfully, I can just check. Oh, I have everything. Okay. Thank you. you guys how this works we go deep down into the water and I'm like I don't think I can swim fast enough to get myself out of here like say well this isn't really that deep you'd probably be okay from here but as an example it, it just brings you straight up to the surface very very useful and you can also replenish your oxygen a little bit by inhaling the the air from the inside of the bladder, which is really useful too. I've I've saved myself from death a lot using both of those. I have so many graph drop fragments. Acquired. If you scan one of those and you already have the blueprint, it will give you titanium. So they are useful to scan, even if you already Oh my god, oh my god. Stay in your biome, please. Oh my god, leave me alone! Normally I wouldn't care, but I I can't die. I can't die. Oh, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. I did not think he was that close to me. Oh, I meant to scan that, but okay. Oh, look at these guys. These are floaters. Look at them. They make a funny sound when you pick them up. There you go, buddy. Y'all can stay there. running out of oxygen. I probably have to venture a little further out to get the better materials. I'll pick this up just because I'll need the titanium in a bit. brain coral is really useful um every couple every like minute or maybe like 10 15 seconds or so i don't know what the actual timing is it'll uh puff out like three bubbles and it'll replenish your oxygen so those things are useful as well i know i'm gonna need these i think for wiring kits I recall. I want to scan you. Man, they never want me to scan you. Quartz. I already picked up some quartz, so we should be good there. The computer chip, I forget what that is made out of. I think I need copper and silver, gold, one of those, so. Um, we'll venture out further this way, because I'm pretty sure this biome gives you those. I don't remember, though. find the other blueprint for the sea glider because this is going to be a dangerous area for me to explore if I'm not paying attention. So I think the sea glide will be the priority for the moment. Silver-based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. All right, sea glide. Where are you? I, I will take this, even though I probably won't use it.
just need to look for like these boxes. Oh, salt. You can preserve it. Oh, oh, here we go. Perfect. Now let me pin that. So I knew what we need for that copper wire thing. Copper. I also have a radio message. I still have no drop frames from streaming to both, which is kind of crazy. I'll take it. Alright, let's play the message. Receiving pre-recorded distress call, laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, cool. Now we have a quest. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Alright, we're good for now. I need some of those acid mushrooms. We should have grabbed more. Okay. I need three batteries total. I think I only made. Er, okay, I did not grab. I need copper. That's what it is. Okay. Can I make any of those yet? So I can make the flashlight. We'll make the flashlight. Beautiful. Now, I'll equip something else there afterwards. Batteries are really important. They do run out of charge, um, and I don't have a way to charge them yet. So, gotta be mindful of how much I use them. All right, um, copper. I need some copper. My inventory is full. Oh, well, I guess I have to make those lockers. Oh, I picked up way too many of these. Okay. Just need copper. Hey, buddy. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Yeah, I know, I already got it. an essential component of the repair tool. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're good now, we're good now. <laughs> I didn't even see what it was. Oh, the inventory is full, that's why. Going to drop that. Because I need this more. Okay, we should go back. I need to drop some stuff off and then we can come back out and continue to search for or Oh, 
I had one right here under the pod. No way. I was gonna do that. Um, I don't know if I have enough to make a wiring kit yet. No, I need one more silver. And I need silver, gold, copper. That's what we need to be focusing on. So, let me put some stuff away. That cleared up a lot of room. Hello, I just need ore. Got any copper? How did that kill me? How did that kill me? I'm shocked that that killed me.